The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, a few days ago, farmers weren't the only folks meeting in Orlando, Florida. That's because lots and lots of folks from America's pork industry were also meeting in the Sunshine State as part of this year's National Pork Industry Forum. And one of those in attendance was the immediate past president of the National Pork Producers Council, Terry Wolters out of Pipestone, Minnesota, who told us that one of the big issues that they're working on and continuing to follow is Proposition 12 and its implications not just for the pork industry, but for all of American agriculture. Ultimately here this past October, we were able to get in and present our case to the Supreme Court. Uh, we're expecting we could have a uh, announcement in, uh, any, at any time. Uh, we're really on the clock at, as we speak. But ultimately uh, that's in the hands of the Supreme Court and it's uh, not, to your point, it's not only about pork. Pork's the issue of the current case, but really it's about the Dormant Commerce Clause and ultimately how states interact or do business with each other. Uh, in our view, we just feel like uh, the ability for the state of California to regulate industry outside its borders is beyond its jurisdiction. And so ultimately we're feeling really good about our position and our case and we look forward to their announcement. And by the way, the new president of the National Pork Producers Council for the coming year is Scott Hayes out of Monroe City, Missouri. For more information about the National Pork Producers Council, you can jump online and visit them at nppc.org. Stay with us, we'll have more Ag News right after this.